probably the most important thing humanity has ever worked on. You know, I think of it as something more profound than electricity or fire. It may make it possible for us to have clean, cheap, renewable energy for the future. Take education, for example. It's really difficult to educate people in a cost-effective way. AI may fundamentally change that equation. But the risks are uh, important, and I think the way we solve it is we think ahead, we worry about it, we do things like from, from be upfront, uh, you know, have ethical charters, think about AI safety from day one, be very transparent and open in how we pursue progress there. Countries, we have to agree to demilitarize AI, and uh, I think that's that's a common goal. Countries should work towards. There's great value in better health outcomes for our customers. We're also using AI to help understand which customers are likely to encounter health issues or well-being issues, so that we can help them avoid those. And if they do encounter health issues, um, helping them identify the right interventions to get them back to work or back on their feet as quickly as possible. That's a great question. So AWS or Amazon Web Services is the world's largest cloud provider and they provide over 200 services such as AI, machine learning, storage and compute power to the biggest enterprises, the hottest startups and government agencies. Yep, Amazon is one of the biggest top AI companies in the world, 2021. They have Amazon Web Services, Google, machine learning, optimized infrastructure. That's basically infrastructure for like AI to learn stuff. Number four, play. Apple unveiled its latest products Monday, including two new MacBook Pro models that use in-house Apple Silicon chips, a new generation of AirPods, and a $5 per month music streaming service. The new 14 and 16 inch laptops eliminated the touch bar and restored several connectors, including the company's MagSafe power connector that had disappeared in recent years, angering some of the company's users. Apple said the 14 inch model will start at $19.99 and the 16 inch model will start at $24.99. Both computers will start shipping next week. M1 Pro and M1 Max represent a huge leap forward. In Apple's two new high-powered chips are called the M1 Pro and M1 Max. The chips are meant to have better performance than the company's previous M1 chips, but do so while using less power than rival chips from firms like Intel and Advanced Micro Devices. Before Monday, Apple's most powerful laptops relied on chips from Intel. These are the new AirPods with spatial audio. The new AirPods are sweat and water resistant and will have some improved sound features. Apple said the new AirPods will cost $179 and start shipping next week. Today's a good day. The sun is shining and Dell Technologies is launching Bare Metal Orchestrator, a seamless software solution that enables communication service providers to build and operate their virtual network infrastructure across multi-premises. So what does that mean? That means you get to focus on building new, advanced, and profitable services faster and at highly massive distributed scale. It's a great day. Your workloads live everywhere, and they're not getting any easier to manage, but siloed approaches just won't work. Open source is the way. Open source brings the power of communities to your enterprise challenges so that you can solve them faster. When it comes to connectivity, rural communities have been left behind. But 5G can help fix this divide in a cost-effective way. Today, 5G can deliver fiber-like streaming speeds for a distance of more than three miles without the need to lay cable. That's a game changer. For example, 5G will deliver extremely fast internet to homes, businesses, schools, and devices outside city limits. Qualcomm believes that everyone should have access, regardless of where they live or work. And as you can see, 5G isn't just for city folks, it's for everyone. Videos, uh, graphics, uh, 
slash AI company. So you can see here they're doing AI video compression. They have robots within the hand. Um, CEO Jensen Yuang, he runs uh, NVIDIA. They're mainly known as a computer graphic processing card company, but now they're starting to expand. Like this robot is expanding. That's how AI companies are going to expand. Yup, number nine is Intel. Intel, that's the Intel CEO. Intel is one of the biggest computing chip processing companies. They power our computers every single day. They're driving in their mobile I electric vehicle car. That's pretty good. That's huge news for AI. Um, they're probably going to take over Tesla. I know Tesla just reached a trillion dollars, but Intel has been in this whole tech game for a long time. Uh, Intel is going to take over, you know. They reach a lot. They're one of the biggest tech companies on the planet. I mean, they're not like Microsoft, Azure type AI level, but Intel's big. I mean, without Intel, a lot of these computers wouldn't be up and running and modernized as it is today. So, got to give kudos to that. 10, number 10 is Cloud Mines. That is a Cloud Mine robot. Basically, what Cloud Mine is, their company. California, they make robots smarter, so they get manufactured robots, make the robot smarter, so they're basically doing the opposite of what Elon Musk said about AI, which is like, make AI, like AI's, AI's been smarter than humans for decades, and as years go by, maybe, probably, most likely, next you know, 5, 10, 20 years, AI is going to take over the world. AI is going to take, maybe take all the jobs of every human being. Because these tech companies are investing trillions of dollars into AI every single month, every single year. So, it's your boy, AI world. I am AI world. Just in case you're wondering, um, she's talking to the robot. She's explaining the robot. It was made by Cloud Mines again. Their company in California. They started in 2015. They make basically what their motto is: they make robots smarter. Yeah, that's pretty much it on Cloud Mines. Number ten. These are the top 10 AI companies in the world, 2021 version. Uh, you got it's your boy AI World. Click the subscribe button. Also, I have some uh, AI affiliate program affiliate links in the description. Click those AI affiliate links in the description as well. Celebrate with me, it's your boy AI World. Subscribe, peace.